Hi guys, welcome to uh, what has become a shit show of a, a day in vlog. Um, it's Monday morning, or it's just uh, watches in the kitchen. It's Monday, so uh, I didn't even film a vlog yesterday because um, it was a gorgeous day and uh, we had a barbecue and um, I needed it to be honest. Yesterday was definitely, definitely needed. Spent um, pretty much all day with my younger brother. We were just getting pissed. Having a laugh in the garden, reminiscing, catching up. It just made me realise just how lucky I am and how I need to be a lot more thankful for what I have. I mean, there are people who are just literally taking my own lives right now and it's such a travesty it really really is um, I've got a feeling there's going to be some horrifying statistics coming out over the next few months that are unrelated to actual deaths uh, from COVID-19 apologies to go on about it again And I just wish everyone the best. I really, really do. But um, yeah, yesterday was. It was good for the mind yesterday. Not so good for the liver, let's be honest. Or the waistline, but seems like it gave, gave up on those two fucking ages ago. And it was, it was very nice. He got absolutely obliterated, though. I wasn't too bad this morning. Uh, I went shopping with my mum to the concourse, which I hate going there normally, but in the middle of a pandemic like this, fucking hell. There wasn't that many people there, understandably. But it was concerning just how many um, old people and older people were out and about who were, you know, putting themselves in a risk which you know they have, a lot of them have to because they've got no one to uh, to help them but only that if if they've got the symptoms and they don't realize it they're you know unintentionally spreading it but we've not been hit too hard um, locally from this thank god well let's not thank god because why would you thank someone Sometimes people need that that support network, don't they? Do you know what I mean? They just need that one thing to, to hold on to. <clears throat> and who am I to begrudge that? Do you know what I mean? It's when religion is used to harm others. That's when I've got a problem. And apologies about the uh, the windows. So yeah, today today's not being too bad. I think we've got our internet back. That was that would have been another reason why I wouldn't have uploaded a video because of the internet troubles that we're having locally with Sky. But um, yeah, yesterday was really nice. But you know when you start thinking about stuff that you've got really no reason to think about, and uh, something that it kind of upset me really, if I'm being honest. When I was uh, about to go to bed. And I was thinking about how how nice it was spending time with my brother and the rest of you know the, the family who live in the house. There's just the thought of what if look at 
you know, what if I was to lose him? It really fucked me up, that idea. Fucking hell. And, and I shouldn't really be thinking like that. But I just can't help it. My mind goes to places where it shouldn't really go. And it, it almost put a damper on the whole day, to be honest. But yeah. It comes to lose, to lose anyone, really. Before their time. I don't know how I'd cope. I really, really don't know how to cope. And I just feel so, so sorry for the families and friends of people who have died over the, the past few months because they've not been able to, to be by their side, you know, before they've perished. And I just can't imagine what that must be like. And I, you could be my worst enemy, I would not wish that on anyone. But yeah, they still want to keep locked down just for three weeks. They need to extend it. They can loosen some things, but people are too focused on getting this lockdown over and done so they can go out of the house. And it's just like, put things into perspective for fuck's sake. But at the same time, I'm not going to judge those people because, you know, it's a challenging time for all of us. So yeah, my merry uh, alcohol fueled, fueled Sunday <laughs> had a little bit of a damper at the end, and uh, I think that's one of my problems. Is I'll I'll think of things like that for no reason. And it did it did really upset me. I might tear up a little bit now actually. But hey ho, we're still here. To uh, quote the uh, legend that is Seaside Mark, every day we're above ground is a great day. And you've just got to be thankful for what you have, really. But I don't need to, you don't need a fucking 31 year old dickhead to tell you that, because a lot of you guys know that already. I hate to when people impart their wisdom on others, so I'll fuck off. <laughs> and, and I know it's like a really good gesture and stuff, but. Is anybody else sick of fucking hair and you'll never walk alone? Jesus Christ. I mean, it does show you that music and art, you know, can bring people together, but fuck me, I'm sick of, sick of hearing people singing. <laughs> I really, really am sick of people singing, but you know what? It's all good intentions and it's doing a lot of good. And uh, I can't remember the, the soldier's name, the major, and I've not addressed it, but what a, what a job he's been doing, raising all that money. And I think that this whole situation has shown, uh, apart from the uh, the ugliness, there's a, a really good, there's positives we can take from this. And I hope we carry, carry them through going forward. Because, you know, just in a blink of an eye, it could all be gone. But we don't want to dwell on those sorts of feelings, um, especially when I've got a fucking shift coming up in the afternoon. So hopefully I'll be able to do a full shift without any connection issues. But we shall see. <coughs> but yeah, so that's it really. I just wanted to uh, explain uh, and apologise why there's there's been no vlog. And I want to apologise now because it's a bit of a, another one of those downer vlogs really, isn't it? But. Um, as I said, I've always been one of those people who I need to keep my mind occupied. Or else I've got to wash and sterilise my hands, don't worry. Do you still have me wipes on me? No, I don't. I'll just wash them when I get in. I already sterilised and washed loads of times uh, when I was in the soup and I was in the concourse. So I am taking, I'm being very cautious um, and being sensible. I've not been on a walk for well till that since that that vlog that I did where I edited it, and I don't know because I think I'm working till nine tonight or eight. 
so I'm probably going to have a couple of beers, uh, do a couple of beer reviews, um, and just chill. And I've just had um, mince meat toasties, which is, it sounds disgusting, but it's one of the best snacks ever. It's all you do is you get some mince meat, season it however you want to, and then you sort of like spread it on bread. With obviously, you know, like, you know how a toasty works. I just make a toasty, and then uh, it's nice just squirting a bit of sriracha sauce on each bite, and it, it's, it's a real treat. And uh, it's a good thrifty, thrifty uh, snack as well. So yeah, the barbecue is really good. It's probably the best barbecue that I've done, and I was quite proud of it actually. Uh, even did a nice uh, ribeye on there as well, which was tasting gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I know not everyone can have a barbecue, so I'm not going to go on about it, because that's the worst thing you can do, is show what you've been doing that others can't, even though I would never, you know, rub it in people's faces or try and, you know, be a dick like that, I think that's such a stupid attitude to have, no matter what the situation is. And uh, in regards to, um, I was talking about uh, that claim that I got on YouTube, copyright claim. Uh, the company um, who uh, hosts and licenses the music got in touch and uh, said, yeah, unfortunately, because your um, partnership expired, which I, I didn't know, uh, full screen didn't actually get in touch with me. So I think it's been expired for absolutely ages, to be honest, because my uh, film review channel is pretty much dead. YouTube has killed that channel with its change in regulations. Um, and basically, it's still profiting off some of those videos, I'm pretty damn sure. Because, um, you know, I got not masses of views, but, you know, upwards of tens of thousands, and even a couple of videos where I got a million or so here and there. But as soon as that started happening and money started to come in, that lasted for like a month, two months, maybe three at a push. And then that's when uh, life really went downhill while I was in Germany. That was like, wasn't the tip point because a lot of factors in it, but um, you can trace it back to that. But oh well, it was fun while it lasted. And um, yeah, so anyway, I've somehow managed to turn an explanation vlog into a fully fledged lockdown vlog. Uh, I'm pretty much working all week until the weekend, so I'm going to see if I can swap a, a day.